today we're going to go through Ikhluk and Ismat, the two final two categories of characteristics with their opposites. Ikhluk and what Ismat are defined as in the following words. So Ikhluk is fluency and Ismat is refusal. Ikhluk, which means fluency or purity of the language, it has letters that are easily said, there's fluency in them, and they mainly consist of letters that use the tongue or the lips, the shafate and the lisa. They are collected in the phrase fir min lo. So here they are written individually. So they are easy to say, they are fluent and roll off the tongue quite easily. And ismat or refusal means refusal because they are stronger letters and their detesting and their refusal of emanating them easily. So these letters are easier to pronounce because they use the tongue and the lips. Here, the letters are a bit more complicated, they're a bit more heavier, they require more effort, they require you to really look, delve into the characteristics and the makarij and exactly where they're coming from in order to emanate these letters correctly. So, for example, when we looked at istiala, we said, that the tongue should, should be elevated. But we looked at then having in fita, a separation between uh, some of those letters and it back in some of those letters. So those letters that don't come into this category and those letters that we've just mentioned now, the categories of in fita and it back and istiana that fall into this category are linguistically detesting their refusal to roll out easily. We have to make more of an effort. We have to understand the characteristics behind them in order to articulate them correctly. This brings us to the end of our characteristics with opposites. Inshallah, our next video will go through the characteristics of the letters that do not have opposites. So there's two categories, one with opposites and one with not with, not with opposites. Just for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.